It may not surprise you that 95% of all serial killers and mass murderers are men. As one expert has said, if you're looking for a diabolical gender, it is the male. There are, however, a few diabolical women. Typically, these sociopaths conceal their true nature behind a veil of tenderness and warmth. Housekeeping. On what seemed like an ordinary Saturday afternoon in the summer of 1991, a housekeeper at the Sheraton Hotel opened room 517 for routine cleaning. The witness requested that we alter her voice and protect her identity. Well, it was around lunchtime, and I was going to put some towels in her room, and they didn't have the Do Not Disturb sign on, so I thought they were out. And I was headed to the bathroom, and that's when I saw them. Their heads went there and laid on the table, and I smelled what smelled like alcohol. So I threw down the towels, and I ran out to call 911. The police wasted no time checking it out. The two victims were identified as Alex and Lauren Hall. Initially, we had no leads to go on. Everybody we spoke to uh, spoke very highly of the couple. The autopsy revealed an unknown toxin to be the cause of death, but could not determine how it was ingested. My brother here has his conspiracy theories, but I don't think they really have any grounding in reality. I just talked to Lauren that day. She was really excited. Her husband had just gotten a promotion, and they were going out to this very nice romantic dinner. They were really great neighbors. They were really trustworthy. You could keep your kids, let your kids stay with them. And they were just so nice and friendly. This is really heartbreaking. I just don't see Lauren being able to do this. And I just think it was a murder. It couldn't have been Lauren. Now, what my brother's telling you point out here is that Ms. Hall had her first husband, Frank Haley, died in mysterious circumstances years before. I had worked the case back then and I always suspected her poisoning him, but I had no evidence to support it. Now, this time I think she once again planned to poison the alcohol and give it to her husband, and it started by applying an antidote to her glass. Now, Mr. Hall liked his vodka ice cold, and being the alcoholic he was, suggested they both downed all the alcohol in one gulp. Ms. Hall was not a reaction engineering expert like myself and didn't realize that even with an antidote, if you consume the alcohol too quickly, all the poison goes into the system at once and it reaches a fatal concentration. And the ice cold temperature didn't help either, as it only made fewer collisions for the antidote to become effective and decrease the chances of it working. That's absurd.